Okay, so um, I'm gonna ask this question. Uh, how, how much homework do the kids do a day here at this technical school? Because this is one of the better schools, I think, uh, in, in this area. Quantos horas por dia para estudiar en tu tarea? Más que un hora por día. If tú puedes mostrarme tus panos. Más que un hora por día. Un hora y media por día. Más que un, una hora. Más que dos horas. Hay estudiantes que estudian, que hacen tarea más que dos horas por día. No? OK. What, what school are we at here today? What is the name of this school? Cecilia, Florida. OK. And your, what is your name? My name is Eric Contreras. And, and how old are you, Eric? talked a little bit before you, you used to go to school in Colombia right yes I was all right I used to live in Colombia I love Colombia but let me ask you this um, how would you say the school here compares to the schools in Colombia well in Colombia is a little hard to study there are a lot of homeworks and a lot yes a lot of homeworks and when I came here I take it easy, it was a little easy, but uh, I have other materials, right. I calculate and computers, right. something like that. Okay, so, but but this is a pretty good school in yes. Tijuana, right? This yes. is probably one of the better ones. Yes, it's the better one. I was studying in private, like I told you, and uh, this is, this public is better. Better than, than the private, private school, okay. Yes. But normally, the, the private schools in Tijuana are better than the public schools. The, the public is better than the private. In, in Tijuana? In Tijuana. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So, uh, right now, you're 19 years old. Yeah, and 18. 18. You, and this is your, your last semester? Yes, this is my last and semester. And what are your plans? Well, I want to go to the university and study aerospecial. What? Engineering. Engineering. How is the discipline in this school? Like the respect with the teachers. Do the teachers have a lot of problems getting the kids to to do things, to follow directions? Or is there good discipline? It's good discipline. Oh, oh we can get directions and do the best as we can. Right. So the, the, the respect with the yes, teachers the here is good. is very good. In all the classes. Yes, all the classes. Okay. Was it like that in Colombia? It was too. It was very good too. Good respect in yes, Colombia. Respect. Okay, okay. Do you know in Mexico right now, I, I hear there's problems with teachers. Yes. There's new laws about teacher accountability. What's going on there? Are, are teachers mad about this or? What's, what's going on with the teachers here in, in Mexico right now? Um, I think uh, what has happened doesn't affect uh, us, us in, in this level. It's, it's just in elementary school and, and middle school. And what do they want from the teachers? Why, why are the teachers upset? Uh, because they're going to evaluate them and some teachers doesn't want that. So the, the school's going to evaluate the yes. teachers. And can they fire the teachers if they don't do a good job or not really? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be like that. Right. But I guess they are just going to, okay, take that course and, and that's okay. So you're telling me in the past teachers never got evaluated here in Mexico? No. The principals didn't come in and evaluate the teachers? and. Well, it, it was supposed to be, but I, I'm not sure if it was happening. Do you ever get evaluated by your principal yes. here? And how does that affect you at all? Any? Um, they give me some some work right. paper, and, and and they mark what I do, right. what I did right, and what I did wrong. And it's like a feedback for us. So that doesn't sound so bad. So then why are all these teachers upset over in the elementary? Maybe because they don't do the things right. Some okay. of them uh, don't give a class to the students. Oh. Some of them uh, never came to class. Oh, really? Not the class. But they don't get paid if they don't come, right? Yes, they get paid. They still get paid if yes. they don't come because of the teachers' union. 
Uh, is the union, uh, uh, como si, the sindicato? Sindicato. Sin the the sind sindicato de los maestros aquí tienen mucho poder? Uh, in Mexico? That, or? Aquel sindicato no está aquí. Oh. So I'm getting ready to head into some of the uh, the uh, uh, classes here, and this is one of the classes that I'm heading into right See now. These ladies here, as part of this technical program, they're uh, they're going to be they're cutting these parts right now, and they're going to be welding them. There's the teacher there. The, the principal, I'm here with the principal here, Rigoberto, see? Rigoberto. See? And he was just telling me that about 40% of the students here in Tijuana, in Tijuana. They, they drop out of school between, say, 15 to 18 years old. So they have a program where they go out and they're trying to keep these kids in school. And the, the businesses here, probably like in the U.S., uh, they don't want to hire kids that aren't high school graduates, so their their opportunities are limited. They can only work in maybe small restaurants to swap meet, things like that. 